Welcome to Mr. Mitsubishi. Today we'll have a look at this. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna compare two uh, Eclipse Crosses. One is fully loaded 2023 Eclipse Cross GT. The other one is base Eclipse Cross ES. So these are Canadian trim levels. Other parts of the world might have them different, but that doesn't change the fact that this is base, this is fully loaded. I always, like not even on Mitsubishi, on any car, always like to see, okay, what is the actual difference between the base and the fully loaded? Is it worth to spend the money? Is it not? So we'll have a look at this video right here. We'll do the side-by-side -side front, back, and then uh, 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 side comparison as well. And we'll have a look at the interior as well, just to see how uh, the uh, fully loaded stacks uh, up against the uh, base. Now let's have a look at the front. So the front uh, comparison. So basically if we go top to bottom, that's how we're gonna move here. So we can see that uh, it has a panoramic sunroof. Uh, this one doesn't have it, just like, you know, um, black, sorry, the uh, blue roof. Uh, this one has the black roof because it has a sunroof. And then you also have the crossbars or the cross rails versus uh, this one, the, sorry, the roof rails versus the base does not have any roof rails from the factory. You can still put the crossbars and whatnot in here. So there's a space for that, but you just don't have the actual roof rails, right? So they, of course, look very, very sharp. So that's a, a, a one thing that stands out right away if you look at them visually, right? Now, then we move further down, like the mirror caps are both um, body color painted, which is awesome. Then uh, this part here, well, Eclipse Cross, this lettering, this is something we put after, so you could easily put that on the base vehicle as well. So that is definitely not a difference. It's just an accessory. Then uh, this grill here, so the front grill, see how on the fully loaded GT is uh, a shiny, glossy look on the uh, base ES this is matte look so this one here is a big difference visually this one just like pops up more uh, uh, pops out more so that's uh, how we can tell as well uh, then right here we have a little bit different design for uh, these uh, lights right here right so we can see that and this one actually has a fog light as well versus uh, the base does not have uh, the fog light and now if we look at this lower uh, trim piece we can tell that there's a difference as well so these one, two, three things. Uh, this one is all plastic, black. This one here is a uh, body color painted. And on here, we can see that this is glossy, right? And this is matte black. So again, this one, like, you know, just looks more like a, a base versus this shiny. <laughs> Here's the one very interesting thing. If you notice, this one has uh, the forward camera right here. On this grill, on the uh, base, you have the same basically placement, but it's just like a, a dummy thing in here. There's nothing in there, but the grill is the same. So it's just a matter of uh, uh, how it's finished basically. So there we go. This is how it stands out. I'd say if I look at it visually, this one stands definitely uh, out a little bit more as a dressed up unit because you have these bottom things right here. You have the fog lights that have a little bit different design and you have this black roof part which, uh, you know, makes it just stand out a little bit more. Okay, now let's check out the back and then we'll do the side comparison. And here's the back. So again, going from top to bottom, uh, the thing that we notice is uh, those uh, roof rails and the black roof right there. But otherwise, you know, it's pretty similar because there's like, you know, both of them have spoilers. Uh, both of them are body color. This octane blue, by the way, is definitely my favorite Mitsubishi uh, color. Uh, now, the only difference basically what we have between the base and the fully loaded is if we look at the bumper, right? So here we see that around the wheels, so these wheel wells, so they're plastic, same plastic on both, no difference. And uh, this part here, see how this is body colored versus this here is the uh, the black part right there, right? And this was like the entire bumper is uh, this, uh, you know, one plastic type of bumper, right? So that's how it looks. And then again, this one here has the shiny plastic and that one has just the matte plastic that kind of like, you know, matches with the rocker panels that we're gonna have a look at the side in a second here. So this is the difference, right? So it's basically how the, um, the rear bumper is painted. And of course, again, this one stands out just a little bit like a more fully loaded vehicle. This more like base because of the, uh, the bumper design, obviously. So now let's check out the uh, side comparison. And here's the side comparison, base versus fully loaded. Now, the cool thing is that um, 
you know they look almost like almost identical again uh i like that fact where like you know even if you go with the base looking vehicle or the base vehicle you don't pay the price of the fully loaded which of course there's a ton of options that are worth paying for uh you still end up with a very good looking vehicle so now again let's go top to bottom uh again the biggest difference is the roof right so you have these uh uh roof rails and then the blackout roof that stands out and then as you move further down like the entire chrome thing like it just looks the same so uh there's no difference there and then right here um that's where like the difference starts so that will be by the way this side molding is an aftermarket thing we added uh that does not uh come from the factory so that is not a difference uh but that will be this rocker panel right here see how uh it's body colored right there and this is just the plastic right here, right? So that's uh, 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 one difference that they have basically visually, that's the biggest difference between the base and the fully loaded. Um, also the wheels, those are the same wheels throughout all the uh, Eclipse crosses. You don't have the wheel option, one wheel for every vehicle. That's what it makes it again, very good. If you're in the market for a base vehicle, it'll be hard to tell what's what which vehicle is your uh entry level which one is your fully loaded one so there we go these are the uh, side differences now let's check out both interiors and let's check out the fully loaded gt interior first uh this one here is a beautiful light gray interior uh, i like it a lot how it stands out the two-tone thing between uh the, the light interior and then this uh it's not even black plastic it is black but it's almost like a, like a charcoal or or grayish black so i like that tone same thing on door panels this part is like nice and shiny around the steering wheel heated steering wheel and uh you know this piano black gloss let's jump in real quick by the way this vehicle has one kilometer <laughs> i've never seen that low so let's start it up um, of course, the feeling is very, very nice. Uh, you know, you have heated seats, uh, heated steering wheel for your comfort, and you also have uh, a head-up display, right? So you can operate it with these buttons right here. You can turn it on and off. See how it uh, folds down and up. I uh, have a feeling that you're in some type of uh, fighter jet or something. And it displays your speed. It's quite... Uh, quite convenient so uh, I, I like that head-up display as well so obviously a big one here is the uh, uh, panoramic roof or the sunroof uh, you have two parts of it so this one is uh, kind of like you know um, in, the, in the middle so you have two sections of the uh, sunroof only this one opens up though so passengers don't get the luxury of opening up the sunroof but uh, it's still very good for uh, you know for uh, light coming in purposes so very nice feeling very nice touch to the steering wheel excellent equipped uh you know no matter where you look it, it just feels good so now let's have a look at uh second row real quick just want to show you how that sunroof looks like there you go that two parts uh by the way i really like the seats are light gray but the back here is uh black leather so that's good if you have kids or somebody who's uh kicking their feet a lot so now let's check out the uh, interior of the base uh, here's another uh, cool thing by the way just want to show you real quick the base has this uh, mirror that is angled a little bit different to prevent blind spots the fully loaded has blind spot information system so it's equipped with a lot of like you know technology and whatnot see like this here is gonna light up on the base one you have the mirror so you still have to do the job don't rely on technology so okay so this is how the base looks no power seats nothing cloth interior everything is black same tone black uh, of course some two-tone elements here and there um how does it feel well about the same but definitely you get robbed a little bit that luxury feeling you don't have leather wrap steering wheel these parts are not uh um these parts are not shiny this piano gloss uh, the e-brake like this is just this kind of like seemingly humongous e-brake versus the electronic e-brake on the fully loaded which gives you way more clear uh, and clean feeling um, also heated seats on this you don't have heated steering wheel of course there's no head-up display but uh, the general feeling how it feels is about the same um, the only difference of course these elements they do make the vehicle look uh, more luxurious more nicer so to speak right no sunroof of course all cloth interior so let's have a real quick peek again at this here 
and maybe let's uh, jump in. Oh, we'll open up the door. Let's jump in from the second row and have a look at the uh, second row here real quick on the front. Right, so this is how the interior looks. And now let's do the same on the fully loaded Eclipse Cross GT. Both are 2023s. Okay, there we go. Uh, much better, much better, yeah. Such luxury feeling. And see what I mean? So this one has just like a, a e-brake versus the base one is just like manual, manual stick that you need to uh, pull. So there we go. These are, in short, some differences that you'll have with your fully loaded Eclipse Cross versus base. We covered very, very briefly. There's a lot more that uh, the Eclipse Cross has added in terms of, uh, you know, stuff that you can add. But uh, just a quick visual and interior differences. So thank you so much for watching and see you next videos.